Hi guys, let's go through this question under a simple harmonic motion. So we have a block which is suspended from a spring having a spring constant of 500 and then a bullet is fired towards this object uh, with a speed of 150 meters per second and then it becomes embedded in the block. So we have been told to calculate the amplitude. So now um, we're going to start with by looking at how the two relate in terms of uh, their momentum. So according to the law of conservation of momentum, we have two objects in this case. So the two objects, uh, we're going to give them the initial momentum. So momentum one plus momentum two, and this will be equals to momentum one final plus momentum two final. Now, momentum one, let's consider uh, the block which is at rest. We know that momentum is given by m1 e1 like that mass times velocity momentum 2 again will be m2 v2 and everything will be equals to m1 v1 prime or final plus m2 v2 prime the final now we know that um, the block was suspended meaning that it was at rest hence uh, what we have here the velocity for the block was zero because it was at rest. So we have m1, which we have been given as four, multiplied by the initial velocity, which is zero because it was resting. The bullet had a mass of 50 grams, which is equivalent to 0 0.05 kilograms. The velocity of the bullet was 150, Okay, so now on this side, since after impact, um, it became embedded in the block, meaning that it became one mass. So since it became one mass, it had the same velocity. So this side, we can say M1V plus M2V. So they become the same velocity because they move at the same, um, at the same speed. So here we have a zero, of course, plus our 150 multiplied by 0 0.05 we get 7.5 here and then what we're going to do here is we're going to factor out velocity hence we have m1 plus m2 with a common velocity v so let's see how we can calculate this velocity v to calculate this velocity we're going to say uh, velocity is equals to the 7.5 divided by the bracket which is the sum of their masses now remember uh, the sum of their masses is 4.0 plus the mass of the bullet which is 0 0.05 so let's see what we get as our velocity so this will give us 9.5 divided by 4.05 and the velocity fine in this case will be 1.852 meters per second. So this is the velocity uh, of both objects after it has been, after the bullet has been embedded in the block. So now remember, we're trying to calculate the amplitude. So let's see how we can use this velocity to calculate the amplitude with a spring constant of 500. So to be able to calculate uh, the amplitude, uh, it is given that the conservational kinetic energy and potential elastic energy, which is uh, kinetic energy, so the change in kinetic energy will be equal to the change in elastic potential energy, like that. Now, it's important to note that kinetic energy is given by the formula half mv squared, and the elastic potential energy is given by the formula half a, the change in displacement squared. Now in this case, since uh, this object has been displaced over a certain distance from the point where it was resting or the mean position, meaning that the displacement that we have becomes the amplitude because it has become the maximum displacement. Hence, the elastic potential energy will be equal to half k, the change in amplitude or amplitude squared like this. Now, according to this relationship, where we are conserving the two energies, we can say 
the change in u is equals to um, the change in kinetic energy like this. Now we know that elastic potential energy we have half k a squared is equals to the change in kinetic energy is given by half m t squared. Now we have been given the mass. Since we're looking at the mass of the two such that they have been they have been embedded, we are going to say uh, half k a squared is equals to half. So the mass we're talking about the mass for object one and object two, which is the bullet and the block. Just from there, we can multiply every everything by two so that we get rid of the half. Hence, what we get will be k a squared is equals to m1 plus m2 v squared. Okay. Remember, we're looking for the amplitude. So let's make the amplitude the subject of the formula in this case. Hence, we obtain a squared is equals to m1 plus m2 v squared. Everything is over k like that. Then, since we're looking for the amplitude, amplitude in this case will be equals to m1 plus m2 v squared over k. And everything is under the root. Now, we have been given everything. Remember from the question, we've been given the mass for the two. So we have 4.0 plus 0 0.05. The velocity that we calculated, which is the final velocity, we found 1.852. Now remember, this one is a square, and everything is over the spin constant, which is given in the question as 500. So let's see what we get when we try to compute this. And after all the computations, what we get is simply 0.167. Meters as our amplitude. So the second part of the question says, what is uh, the fraction of the kinetic energy, the original, of the bullet which was transferred to mechanical energy? So what I want to do is we're going to calculate the initial kinetic energy before impact. Now remember this bullet. So let's say half m v initial squared. Here we're going to calculate kinetic energy after collision, which is kinetic energy final, half mv final squared. So before collision, which is kinetic energy initial, this bullet was moving at a speed of 150. Hence, before collision, the bullet had a mass of 0 0.05 before it was embedded into the block with a velocity of 150 squared. So the initial kinetic energy will be equals to, and this gives us 562.5 joules. So after collision, the kinetic energy will be equals to half the mass. Remember, after collision, they become embedded. Hence, the mass will be m1 plus m2 with the velocity that we calculated using the concept of moment or momentum rather. So half the mass of the block was 4.0 plus the mass of the bullet was 0 0.05. The velocity that we calculated, the final velocity for both was 1.852 meters per second. But remember, it has a square. So what do we get as the final kinetic energy in this case? And what we obtain after this computation is simply 6.95 joules. Okay. So to see what fraction of the energy was transferred, we're going to say, we'll use a simple eta, which will give us uh, the final kinetic energy over the initial kinetic energy. So the final kinetic energy, remember, we found 6.95 joules, and the initial was 562.5 joules. This gives us 0 0.0123, like that.
that. Uh, there's a six there, okay, that's fine. So now, uh, our final fraction, if we want to write it as a percentage of the two, we just multiply this by 100, hence we have 1.24 as a percentage, this is what we get. So this is how much um, kinetic energy was transferred. I hope that makes sense. Please feel free to drop a comment in the comments in case you have uh, a question.